Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gaily Records. Today, I would like to talk about some calculated fields and work about data. So this is our uh, case. Uh, sometimes it's good to have table by date. No, it's fine uh, and it looks nice. Or if you want to change it to months, it will be super easy. I connected Google Analytics 4 here, so we have month as a dimension. It could be like this. Also, we can change uh, type from date to year months to see months. It looks nice, but if we want to change a week, uh, it will look like this, week number 18. So actually, I don't know which day is it. I would like to know when this week start. Uh, also, if we select date and change here for from date to ISO year week, it will be really long field and we cannot see the whole field. It's the same with the chart if we change date to uh, is so weak. Mm. Okay, in this case it's fine. In this case it's fine because it is time series chart. So it's in other like hack, so it works. But if we change this chart for column chart, for example, you will see that we have some uh, three dots and it's not nice. So it, it's usable. But I prefer to make the dashboard the maximum as I can. So how can we extract date from extract week from date to have a nice column with week start? I already typed formula here. Let's observe it. Uh, this formula contains two parts: a formula extract and formula date time trunk. So let's start from the first one. Uh, this is our column as we have a date is a week. Let's add new field. It will be create a field. Week one. Uh, here let's use date time trunk function. We already have it here. Uh, in the note, we can see that uh, we should select the time expression. In our case, it is date, then comma, and then which part of which part of this uh, field we want to extract. And we want to extract week. In our case, in the example, it is month. We can extract day, uh, whatever. You can check here. You can check options. Which options do we have? So I. Uh, Week. Let's see what do we see, what we will get have here. Uh, I will remove counts that we have more space for our field. So it's already looks a bit better. Mm, you can see that we have weekday, uh, first day of the week we have already here, uh, but we have some time. Uh, what we can do here, we have date and time, maybe we can just use date field here, change type for date, and it's already work, so we can stay with this formula and it will be already fine. Same, uh, let's copy this formula for our chart, let's see how it will be, uh, apply. Mm -hmm. And again, we can change type to date. Nice. We already see the first day of the week. Uh, also, what we can do... Uh, and uh, let me check one thing. Part we don't have... We don't play here. This date part begins on Sunday. So, we can play around with like Sunday or Monday or 
we can do like if so week from the begin on monday so if we want our week start on sunday we use week if we want our week start on monday we use this week now we can use this one yeah for example and i want to update our formal here as well uh, next uh, but we can uh, do some more complex formula here if this option doesn't work this change data doesn't work for some reason uh, we can use other option we can again write our formula like um, date time trunk date is a week we can write this kind of formula and then we can update it and um, use extract formula as well uh, extract formula extract part from date time expression so here we use which part we want to extract from our date time expression so for our case it will be date uh, you can see some tips here so you can extract this week month year blah 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 we want to extract week um, then we type from and this is our date time expression it's already formula in close box that is it and click apply oh Ah, because yeah, I extracted week. I need to extract date. Uh, when I extract week, it, it extracted num uh, week number. Yep. So this is second option: how to extract. As a result, is the same. First option we use uh, type, and the second option we use formula. I think when it could be important if you know that you will copy this dashboard for other clients for other for other properties for the google analytics account i recommend you to use this option this formula because when you copy dashboard um, your the type of your field usually it became default and by default we have on the first option we have date time so we have to manage it manually so if you don't want to copy this dashboard you can use a simple formula is just date time trunk option and change type if you want to copy this dashboard i recommend you to use the full formula and use extract and date time trunk hope you like my advice hope you will use it uh, let me know your experience with this formula and if you have some questions feel free to ask me and comment and yeah ah, i would like to remind that if you want to learn looker studio with me i have my online course you can find the link below this video where we observe all types of chart in looker studio and we do some nice dashboard based on google analytics data that you can use for a portfolio so it's super practical guide um, if you want to learn with your studio so hope you like this video and see you soon